You have an idea. If you think this is an idea, then, then it's all about finding the people who also think that is an idea. Maybe it's not your friends, but man, now on the internet, you can go anywhere in the world for nothing and try things and, uh, and see if it works or not. Yeah. And that's what's available, like never before. And even making money. I mean, that, that's a, if, uh, you know, if you're not making money out of your own business or whatever yet, there's so many other ways to make extra money now that I never knew about. I mean, like, like an Uber thing. Uber. You have you Uber in town here? Okay. Well, Uber. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is what's happening in our society. Uh, here. Uber. Okay, Uber's five years old. Okay, it's the second bunch of stuff here. Okay, their value on the stock market is $18 billion after five years. $18 billion. That's the same value as Hertz and Avis together. Okay. <laughs> How many employees that Uber has? 1,000 to 2,000 employees. How many employees Hertz and Avis has? 60,000 employees. So here's a company owns nothing but a website. Just owns a website. That's it. But it's a market. They create a market. So if you want to go out and pretend you're a taxi man, where are you going to find a customer? People, millions of people a day are going to Uber every day looking for somebody to give them a ride. And you get an app, and Uber wants more people. I mean, they're making $75,000, $80,000 taxi when they want to work, whenever you want to work. You don't have to, you know, like you work for a normal taxi. They want you to work 1,000 hours a week or whatever, that kind of stuff. And, and you're, you know, you're your own control. And they even have money for the markets. They're looking for people in Badly is to get you money for a car because they don't want you in an old clunker. You know? So here you can make part time. I, I know federal employees that in the weekend and night times are making 20, 30, 40 extra grand doing that. I mean, it, it, to me, it's unheard of. I mean, there's, no, <laughs> there's nothing you could do. What would you go? You know, we deliver papers. I mean, in my generation, you, know, you drive a taxi, but the taxis, these are not taxis. I mean, because you're not, they're safer because it's everybody is all pre, no, but you don't handle money. You know, the website handles all the money. They say, hey, this guy wants to go somewhere else. They already have the credit card. They have everything, all that. And you don't handle money, so, you know, it, it, it's safe as heck. Yeah, safer than, and it's growing. Yes? I went to a comedy club a few weeks ago, and they all handed out Uber credit cards, and they said they'd take it anywhere you wanted to go for 20, 20 miles. Yeah. It was paid for by the club. <coughs> right. 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 Exactly. Hey, uh, or here's another thing. I mean, but see, th that's okay. We're creating value. Things are growing. See, that's why if you look at exponential growth that's going on in something, old stuff is not growing anymore. It's just going to continually shrink. You know, and you know, it's not going to go away. It's sort of like radio. Radio is still here. You know, after television and everything, but but it, it was never a growth industry anymore. You know, and and, and smaller. So the same way, like, like the taxi cab, I'm mean, still to be around, but it's not a growth. I mean, if you're growing exponentially, like, would you rather have? Uh, let's see if I have this data right. If uh, if I give you a million dollars today, up front, or a dollar a day and double that for the next 30 days. What would you rather? A million dollars or double? What? Uh, you take the dollar? Yeah. Yeah, that's a billion after 30 days. I mean, that's when things grow exponentially. That's what happens. I mean, look at, you know, Uber, five years and they're already $18 billion. Airbnb, I'm staying at Airbnb here. Okay, how many know about Airbnb? Maybe know of it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I used it the first time in, in uh, I just came back from Shanghai about a month or two ago. It's the first time I used it in Shanghai. And it was terrific. Mainly because I was trying to get uh, interviews and uh, speeches and things like that. I was working on it for five months beforehand. I got a handful, hardly nothing. I got one, the, the, my Airbnb landlord there, 
hook me up on a, uh, for a speech in one place on a Saturday, and I got 50 things to do after that, you know, just from there. I mean, it is not, the concierge at any hotel is not going to do that, you know. And this is what it is. Now, so I said, well, let's start. We have an apartment where we live. I live in the suburb of Washington, D.C., and we have a little apartment, a one-bedroom, which I love. I'm an urban guy, and I like urban, in, in a place called Adams Morgan. And he said, well, let's try this in A.B. because we don't use it all the time and put it on. And we put it on at Christmas to try this thing. I mean, like two, three weeks, we had $4,000, $3,000 worth of business. Wow. That was found money. Nothing I knew about. This guy, I'm doing the Airbnb from now. He just goes, stays with his buddy. <laughs> Where would he get somebody? So I'm giving him three, four hundred bucks for the three, four nights or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> and so, uh, he don't, and, and he's great. He showed me the, the best restaurant, the best thing, the that and everything. And, and anytime I text him, I want it, you know, instead of the concierge at a hotel, that will, you know, is making some money off of every place they're selling you or whatever it is, you know. And this is, you really have a friend, you know. And we got people that are staying at our place now. I mean, they're, they're fun people and, and, you know, we go out to dinner with them and things like that. And, and that's why it, it, it is, who would have thought, I wouldn't have thought like that. And look what happened to this business. Okay, Hyatt, Hyatt Hotels, okay. Uh, their Hyatt market value is 10 billion. Airbnb is 13 billion, and they've been around for about five years now. So now bigger than Hyatt Hotels in their market value. The other thing, how many rooms does Hyatt have? 150,000? Airbnb has 800,000 rooms. 800,000. How many employees? Hyatt has 75,000. They have like 1,000. See, all this new wealth we're creating in our country is not the same anymore. It's not hiring so many people. I mean, you see they're, they're buying, you know, Google just spent a billion dollars for WeChat or uh, one of those things, I get confused what they all are. Well, 50 people, 50 people, and they spent a billion dollars on this sucker. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, yeah, a billion dollars, like Boeing, <laughs> yeah. with all the employees. It's not there. But what happens now, you have other ways to make income with this. Because see, what these do, they create, you know, you put your thing on there, well, it's the marketing. Anything, like getting a customer. You know, you could say you could do anything, but if you don't have a customer, it doesn't matter what you do, right? So that's why if you put your thing on one of these, wow, you're getting traffic, customers. Like me on YouTube. I mean, I'm trying to get people to come to my place on, uh, uh, to buy a website, no. Man, I mean, I, I'm growing up to two, three thousand views a day, you know, after about a year and a half or so, you know. I, I couldn't get that time to try. I mean, that's not paid for. It's just volume and stuff like that. 